Creativity, nostalgia, business. What are you building with Legos? What's up guys, this is Shant with CK Collection. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a quick tour of my Bricklink store, aka my garage, pretty much. Also my office room, I have most of my packing supplies there. And it'll kind of give you guys an idea how to organize a space. I personally like to be as organized as possible in general. But I might have things laying around here and there on tables and I kind of kept it that way for this video. I didn't want to completely clean, clean up, uh, you know, keep it real. But the point is, you could still be organized and find what you're looking for, especially with Legos. If you have a Bricklink store, you're talking about thousands and thousands of parts before you know it. And you have to be able to find them. I remember the first order that someone placed at my store, it literally took me six hours to place an order with maybe 15 different parts. So uh, also if you are looking to organize a space, you kind of get, get ideas from me because I've been through those obstacles and I've watched a lot of Mary Kondo. Oh well, let's get to the tour. Well, this is pretty much my personal uh, Legos. I have a whole bunch of used Legos here that are not in my store. I use them for whatever I want to. And I know layout wise that I could get more shelves and continue expanding this way. So as long as you know where you're going to expand to, you're good because you still have space to use. And if you hug the walls, you're always going to have that space. As long as I don't clutter up the center of my garage, I'm good. I feel, I feel good about that. So these are my shoe boxes. These are actually in my store. I'm going to continue stacking these uh, as I get more Legos. Quantity wise, I only have these three for now, but I'm starting to get more and more Legos. So I'm going to need more space for the shoe boxes. Uh, this is kind of messy for my part. Um, for now, I left these used Legos here. I need to find some place for them. Maybe get more shoe boxes and get you know continue with the shelves. As far as minifigures, I have um, a lot of my minifigures out here on display. It kind of like looks cool aesthetically. I could have them in a case somewhere, but I think it looks pretty cool. So I have them out here displayed. My Praetorian Guards and Ninjago and so on. I think they look pretty cool. These are just used Legos, these three. Kind of all over the place. Uh, these three are my daughter's creation. She had the idea of, she's like, Hey daddy, I made these minifigures. Why don't you put them up there, you know, on the counter? So, I couldn't say no. And here we are, a Stormtrooper with backward legs. And a backward uh, helmet with no hands and a girl with a cap and she looks pretty happy uh, these are my Technic uh, boxes I separated them into two the smaller parts right here and the larger larger Technic parts right here these are uh, sets that I've completed uh, they're used for the most part but they're complete so if I want to sell them give them away or whatever you know I have complete sets with the instructions oh uh, I have um, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a lot of tools I have a power tool and things that are necessary f to be kind of functional you know screwdrivers and so on but yeah this wall panel is really really helpful guys uh, I used to have tools all over the place like on these on this shelf I didn't have much shelf space so ever since I got this wall panel Ah, that's bright. But yeah, um, got to save a lot of space. This was uh, difficult for me to figure out at first where to put all these cardboard boxes, which is good to have if you need to ship. I mean, cardboard is good for a lot of things. Uh, for stickers, if you want to, you know, ship stickers and pack them. Um, in a way where they won't get damaged cardboard is the best possible way and also you know to make your own boxes to ship whatever you want to ship um, at the correct size uh, some packing peanuts right there those are useful just some random stuff here these are sets that I'm gonna complete 
Uh, I might do some uh, guess this set type of videos, so I don't want to get too close, but uh, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of Legos here. I was parting out a set, and I haven't finished yet, so they're all over the place. Some workout stuff and blah, blah, blah. Over here, I got all my instructions. I have them stacked. You know, that, that box, uh, that container is probably like 30 or 40, 50 pounds. Wouldn't be surprised. I don't even know, 30, 50 pounds. As far as these uh, cases go, if I have anything open, it means I could add more Legos, even if I already do have Legos in there. I mean, I don't want to have 5,000 cases just yet if I see that my current ones still have space in them. Like, I could easily add more Legos in these. So I still have room to expand before buying more stackables. Over here, I use this for these drawers for different things. I have poly bags in this one. I have uh, Ziploc baggies and, you know, little containers. If I want to place little orders, they're good. Duplo plate. I have smaller cases here for smaller uh, parts. Eventually, you know, they grow out of the, the small cases into the actual stackables. More large cases here. Yeah, uh, these boxes, the these envelopes in large quantities. And I think if I did the math right, I think each envelope comes to seven cents to 10 cents if you order, order them in mass quantity. I can't remember exactly how many I ordered, but I ordered at least 50 to 100 of each. Those are the small ones, those are the larger ones. Okay, this is just me being messy. I left my Technic parts out. I was, I'm working on a project. This table is full of Legos, working on another project. I got more Legos that are being parted out. I'm working on and as far as, as, far as these containers here, it's more of my personal stuff. Um, those are my personal Legos under that I mess around with. And I have some sets in there that are in my personal collection. I haven't done much about them. And more sets down here that I'll get to eventually to part out. I got a pretty good deal on these Lego Movie 2 sets on Amazon. And I have this from quite a while ago. I think I got this one, the hauler from the summer, summer clearance. And I still haven't parted that one out, but everything else has been parted out. They come here usually. I, I stack all my Lego boxes here, and then I'll part them out into the store. There's my tripod for shooting videos. And I think that's pretty much it as far as the garage is, is concerned. Again, uh, you know, tricycles and um, my daughter's vehicle i try to keep them as close to the wall as possible if you guys have any ideas as far as organizing goes please feel free to comment uh, and give me some ideas any questions or comments you guys have but this is pretty much how uh, i've organized my garage now as far as stackables go I, I would have to continue down here and find a way to keep my you know my daughter or and you know kids out of this uh that range maybe put some tables in front of it i, I don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but uh, as far as stackables i don't have too too much space for them unless i go upward or downward on the wall but for now uh my price point's good enough on my store where i keep on uh selling legos and emptying out these cases as you can see, the cases that I have pulled out uh, still have space. Actually, I have many cases that still have space in them. Like, let's pull out one randomly, like this one. See, I could add, easily add one or two other part, kind of uh, Legos, like parts, not, not pieces, parts uh, in there. So, 
I'm gonna have to probably do that. Walk around and look at all my, check out all the cases again and see where I could add more Legos. But yeah, well, you know what? Let's go to the office room to check out my shipping supplies and packing and shipping supplies. You are looking for shipping supplies, are you not? All right, well, <clears throat> this is our office room slash uh, Brickling, Poshmark, you know, online selling um, room. We got my gaming stuff right here. My gaming chair. My wife has some stuff that she sells. Shoes and clothes, so she takes pictures here. And I use that ring light sometimes too. I used to use it more before. Uh, but I don't need it for videos. Anyways, so I got some, I flipped those over because there's some addresses on it. So this is where our shipping uh, envelopes or anything that's ready to be shipped goes. And I have large bags right there. Got smaller bags in here. And shipping supplies, packing supplies, tapes and scissors and I have some of my envelopes here. Quick and easy access. And I think that's pretty much it as far as my office is concerned. 